Morning guys, how are we going? I'll just introduce you to a mate of mine, Isaac. Nice to meet you. How are we going, man? Yeah, not too bad, pretty excited. So we've got a bit of gear here on the ground. We are just waiting for our ride to come and get us, and then we're gonna spend um, a few days up in the mountains. It's looking pretty nice up there. Weather's looking primo. We're actually pretty amped on this, so it's gonna be real good. Any words to say, man? Well, I'm just super excited, eh? I just wanna get in the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be cool. What are you hoping to find? Like, what would be your dream to find? I really want a really black, black and with a really nice white, white face for my um for my chamois chamois head skin shot yep. one earlier this year that i really want to get a nice skin for it'd be quite special to shoot it myself instead of buying one so it'd be pretty cool yeah we'll see if we can find some good chamois isaac's looking for a head skin for this mount my friends always give me shit about this it's gonna tell me to feed my dog <laughs> <laughs> puppy dinner <laughs> i thought it was your alarm saying it's time to get out of bed yeah looks like a nice country I saw you brought an ice axe. You might, no, I think I might bring it actually, to be honest. We'll see, because I'll we'll shoot something where I can get to safely, but like, you know, have your, you have your um, cookies in order to keep yeah, your life. Yeah, definitely. Here comes our ride now, just coming into land. You got a real nice buck to start the year, eh? What was he, 10 and? 10 and a half, man. I'd love to get a life-size skin for him, but like, if we can't manage to pull that one off, we're definitely... Yeah, also got a doe that was 11 inches and um, trying to find a head skin for her. Have a look for a, for a doe that's um, without, without a kid and by herself, maybe. And So, um, no, this trip, we've got a couple of things to take off the list. Got to be animals up there, I reckon. It's pretty nice, actually. Pretty cool area. What are you doing, man? Peters with tuna, cheese, and a grilled sandwich, pretty much. <laughs> man, it smells good. And some pesto, eh? Hey? I'm dining fine. That's all right. All right, so we're just getting ready to go for our evening hunt. Packing up the, the packs at the moment. I'm going to put the camera together. You're taking a rifle and a spotter, aren't you? Yeah, so. and in some fucking ice gear just in case. So we're going to go, first of all, we're going up up the top there behind camp, glass those faces across there and over the other side to see what's over there. We'll see some deer, I'm sure, at least. That's a fucking good catch. <laughs> Earplugs. You reckon that rifle yours barks a bit, does it? No, yeah, yeah, no, she hoots. Let's <laughs> get ready to go, eh? I think I've got some more lunch in my pack. <laughs> You'll take the deck chair too. <laughs> right, let's go. We're out of here, guys. Let's go. Let's climb to that top. Shouldn't take us too long. Frozen, eh? <laughs> That's our water. Got a few days of clear weather, so this all the snow's probably going to burn off in the next couple of days, isn't it? Right, we're just at the top now. Wouldn't want to go off the edge here. Be pretty scary going down there. Camp's way over there. If the chamois aren't over here, it'll definitely be up in that back basin. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty nice up there. Next little knob over there. I reckon it'd be good to sit on. Yeah. Oh, I found found the first animal for the trip. Just looks like a like a like a stag. Could be a mature stag. Oh, a 
that's right up on that tusky knob you can see right there got a good look at him now he's probably looks like he's an eight pointer Probably. Real dark though, and he's dark. You get some photos, probably no point. Yeah, we're not here to target stags exactly, but we're kind of just here to do what we want to do. So. Good morning, guys. I just about tripped over. <laughs> Morning guys. So, negative nine inside the tent last night. It's just pretty cold. Just woke up this morning. Poked my head out the door. And there was a chamois buck. Just up on that face behind camp. So we watched him go over the skyline. Prepare our stuff for the day, and then we're going to head out there. You can see the tent down the ridge, just spotting it. We've got prints in the snow there from last night, and there, yeah. So it's probably that chamois, he's probably across this ridge just up from camp, got 200 yards from camp, yeah, or wherever the snows. And then I spotted him just. Oh, just there, maybe 80 yards, yeah. 80 meters away, roughly. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> He's coming out of that country down there. Thought we thought there'd be sham down there. Yeah, it's really nice looking country for them. So yeah, carry on, eh, bro? Yeah. Right, we're just about to clear the top now. Right, so I've just spotted, looks like a buck bedded. I can see him with my naked eye, just that big patch of snow. Yeah. Go, see how the snow's pointing up? At the top of the... Yeah, if you see how it's like a long... That's the shade line. Yep. Follow the shade line, yeah. directly above that, and go to the last spur before it ducks out of sight. Oh yeah, I can see his head. You can see his head? What's that? Yeah, yeah, you can't see him by much. What's the wind like, bro? Because that's well within range. Within range, eh? How far? 380. Put the spotter on him and see what he's like. He's just got his head low, lay down, and um, you can tell that he's not huge, but he's not tiny either, so. Seriously impressed with Joe's body though, because you can only see the top of his head. It's <laughs> well, this isn't about that much of him. We'll just call it a fluke, okay? Yeah, it's 400, 400 yards away. So, be good. <laughs> What's that? How much of you can see that? <laughs> yeah, not much, eh? Yeah, so wait, wait till the evening. Hopefully the wind can dies right off and we can whack him at 400. Yeah, we'll watch. We might even see another one, man. Yeah. So I've got, got the camera rolling. This camera. Isaac's got him on the spotter. 
<laughs> Should we have some lunch, man? Just, <laughs> just watch. <laughs> see what else we can see. He's sleeping. Like, he's, he's happy, eh? He's having a real good snooze. What's for lunch, bro? Oh, just a bit of butter chicken. and go native, so pretty much better than what mum makes. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. Just chuck her in there for two minutes and can beat mum. Hungry as eh? Yeah. <laughs> Delicious mate. That's one of my favourite flavours too. We've come around here a bit more and I got 395 yards. What yeah, are you getting? 393. So, so that's about as close as we're going to get though I think. Got my coffee. Unless. Above that white, that white clearing. He's directly above that, just on a spur. Be pretty much impossible to see with the GoPro, but yeah, man. Haven't seen anything else though. Eh? Hurry up, man. I'm in the last of it, bro. You're gonna get it all. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the packet out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you couldn't get any more out of it if I tried. I'm like ready up there, waiting. Ready to roll, man. Just the drone's ready to take off as well. The drone's already down there, though. <laughs> now it's action time. Here we go, boys. Skin. <laughs> okay, so we're all packed up and we're gonna head down there. Right, we're pretty happy. Careful! <laughs> Be funny if you just fell off. Yeah, we're pretty pumped. Because that, that snow guts there should be on this spur. Straight below us, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty steep, though, is it? Yeah, bro. All right, look at that. Touch Pro the hill with no problem. Yeah, probably doesn't do it justice on the camera, but if you start rolling down there, you'll be at the bottom before no, before you know it. Yeah, she's a long way down that side. So we stay on this spur because we can't. We're not really on that. Yeah. Okay. Pretty tough going with one hand down here, Isaac. Yeah, you're gonna be laughing at me when I come back up. <laughs> Just here, blow us now. Awesome. Bro, it's a beautiful skin too at that. Man, what? Like, it's just perfect. Sweet, so at the start of this trip, I said that I was after a buck and a doe, a doe head skin. So the life size for the buck and head skin for the doe, and we've just ticked the ticked the doe head skin off. So I'm pretty chuffed. Couldn't be couldn't be more stoked to be honest. Like, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be looking at the skin for a long time. Thankful to take its life. It's got a bit of meaning, eh? Good on you, man. Beautiful, eh? This is what I live for, man. Sunsets, frothy views, good people, and epic memories. How's the taste, man? Well, I've already eaten a couple <laughs> of bits, but yeah. Because <laughs> that's probably the best sham you've ever eaten. When I was cutting it up, it just had fat all through it, and it all through the back straps. I've never seen one like it, and that's tender. Like, that's real tender. I aged that. that. That animal's old. It's not a young animal. And that is a tender steak. I haven't aged it, we've taken it straight off it. We've taken it down to camp, I've de it in the fry pan. What did, I, what did I use? Just a little bit of garlic, herb, salt, and seriously, if, you, if you're if you believing that on the animal, you've got something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just showing me one of your videos on YouTube, eh? Yeah, I was just showing Same you time. one of the previous trips from over on the coast with a couple other people, so. Yeah, oh well, let's watch that, I'm gonna eat this, so. I'll turn the camera off, man, before you eat yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> 